The timber construction industry and engineering, uh, timber engineering uh, world has progressed a great deal in the last uh, 20 years or so. There's been a, a real evolution uh, in materials, engineered wood products, uh, in manufacturing, and also in connection engineering in wood. So you see here a uh, five-axis CNC machine, uh, which is now common in a few locations in, uh, in North America and uh, in many places in Europe. And these machines, which can rotate about around five axes, so they can literally carve wood to just about any shape you want, uh, have an accuracy of up to 0.1 millimeters. Uh, very fast, very cost efficient. Now, th this kind of manufacturing has really revolutionized the way we designed with wood. This evolution has led to a lot of innovation. And if you look around the world now, you will see that in the last few years, there's been a, a, an unbelievable number of uh, really quite stunning timber structures that have been built. Every time that we see new steps in evolution in the timber engineering business, we as a firm look at this as an opportunity to innovate, to do something new. But one of the significant innovations or uh, evolutions in, in the world of timber engineering recently is the use of solid wood panel construction. So over 100 years ago, we used to do post and beam, large timber and, and beam uh, elements. And you will see that going back as much as 1,500 years in Asia and Europe. Some of these buildings are still standing. About 100 years ago, stick frame became very popular, particularly in residential construction, uh, because of its, its efficiency. But in about 15 years ago, a new way to build was developed in Europe called solid wood panel construction. Now, solid wood panels uh, come in, in different types. Uh, the most popular right now is probably CLT. You can use uh, LSL or LVL as a solid wood panel because LSL and LVL are ultimately fabricated as panels first and then cut into beams. LVL uh, comes in eight foot by 64 foot uh, lengths and up to three and a half. Actually, some suppliers do five and a quarter inch thick and then you can laminate them together into really large panels. This is the first uh, solid wood panel uh, that we uh, did in uh, West Vancouver. It's a custom home, 5,000 square feet, built out of CLT. All the floors, walls, and roof elements are built out of CLT. One of the great advantages of, of panel construction is speed of erection. This structure was erected in six days. So coming back to tall wood then, when you really look at the history of, of tall wood, Going back 1,400 years, there are temples in Japan uh, that are still standing that are somewhere around 11 and 12 stories tall. This is a seismic zone with lots of rain, and yet we have uh, very large timber structures that are still performing very well. A church in uh, Norway, which is 1,100 years old. Murray Groves is considered right now the tallest modern wood building in the world. It's in uh, London, England. There's a little bit of race to the top going on right now around the world. There are a number of uh, groups that are looking at uh, doing tall timber buildings. Uh, there's a group in Norway that has studied the 17-story building, which is, as of now, unrealized, uh, with a concrete core, I believe. There's a, a, a 20, possibly 30-story building uh, being studied in Austria, which uses wood concrete composite, and uh, again, a concrete core. But uh, I think our study is unique in the fact that it is, uh, it's been carried out in a high seismic zone with an all solid wood core. We believe that uh, tall wood construction is something that will become real. We don't know how soon, of course, there's a lot of testing to be done, but uh, this is uh, what high-rise living could look like very shortly. So thank you for your attention.